Welcome back. We have been talking with graduates, alumni of William C. Jason Comprehensive High School, and they are having a class reunion. And we've just been learning some about the history of the school. With me this morning, Mr. Clem Jordan and Ms. Janie Miller, President, Ms. Miller, and Vice President of the Alumni Association. It sounds like a remarkable, um, a remarkable piece of history here on the shore. And you were just telling me about your shirt. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, on the shirt it shows the 10 high schools in the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, that goes from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel all the way to Dover. And uh, it rep uh, on this t-shirt it represents all of the high schools that are listed starting at, Mur at Murray and Smith in Virginia all the way up to William Henry High in Dover. It shows Somerset High, Worcester High, uh, Mason's Lane, Moton, mm -hmm. And Salis even Salisbury High is on here. They were the all uh, uh, Afro-American high schools that was on the Delmarva Peninsula. At the and, time. And, hmm. and we put this on here. We highlighted Jason. Of course. Because of course. we had to do that. Of course. But anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's really, you know, a, a remarkable thing. And, you know, what, uh, we had talked about it one time to maybe get in touches. I um, forget Lockerman now, they were there from Denton. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about maybe getting together with some of the alumni from each one of these schools and have an all uh, fully big fa uh, reunion yes. for the Delmar Peninsula. But that's never materialized yet. But you know, that's one of our things that it we're might. looking to do. Especially yeah. since you, you, yeah. you seem to do well with trying to keep up with, you know, your school classmates as well mm -hmm. as the other people who yeah. were a part of that era where, yes. you know, there yes. was a centralized school uh -huh. for African Americans at right. that time uh, right. throughout, like you said, across the shore. Right. Um, tell me this, we were saying not all of you are still on the shore. You said you've had classmates come from as far as Africa to return to the reunion. Yes, uh, Mr. Arnold Polk, he was in Africa at one time and he would come home for the class reunions at Jason. Now he has since relocated in the States, but we still have people who come from uh, out west, people who come from Florida, you New all York. must throw quite a party, quite a reunion. Yeah, we try to. We <laughs> try to. Of course, to, you, you know. want to see yeah, each other. Yeah, we, we do, and you know, we want to make it nice, you know, mm -hmm. when the alumni come back, and you know, we do. So, yeah. to that end, tell us a little bit about the reunion that's coming up, when it's taking place, where some of the activities, and who it's for, and how they can be involved. Okay, well, next Friday on the 1st of August, we will start our celebration with a gospel fest that will be held on the Owens campus of Delaware Technical and Community College, which okay. is the former site of the William C. Jason Comprehensive High School. Is it? Okay. And at 7, 7 30, I mean 7 o'clock that evening, we will have a gospel fest featuring former students from Jason. Okay. And it is a free will offering, so there is no charge. And following that, we will have a reception where the alumni can gather and chat and look at memorabilia mm -hmm. and just kind of have a good time. Okay. On Saturday morning, we will be in Millsboro at the Millsboro Bowling Links where we will have a bowling tournament. And she's good. She's on the league, so watch her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's open to the, to the general public. You know, you get your team come okay. in. You can okay. register right on site. And we will be giving out trophies for okay. the first place winners and a few, few, a few prizes. Okay. Uh, we also have a reception at that event with some memorabilia on display. Okay. And following that, during the evening at 5.30 p.m., again on the Owens campus okay. of Delaware Technical and Community College, we will have our reunion, our banquet. Mm -hmm. And so will we dress up for that, should we? Well, we're hoping that people will dress It is casual. Sometimes okay. people dress up, so it's left to the individual, okay. Okay. you know, their choice. However, this year we're having a homecoming king and queen coronation. Oh, nice. Okay. As our fundraising event. So there will be probably some people who come a little bit dressed up. Yeah. But so you don't have to. Okay. Yes, have they sir. been already trying raising their funds to try and win yes. the crown? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yes. my yes, goodness. Yes, they have. We have. And so how excited are you to just think about next this coming weekend you will reconnect and just kind of sit and go through, mm -hmm. go back down memory lane and see some old friends. Yes, it's always fun to do that. I look forward to it, uh, you know, every two years that we do it because, you know, you got your friends be coming back. You haven't seen some of them in a while. I see a lot of, you know, uh, the, 
the, uh, uh, my classmates, and then we guys would get together, reminisce, because, mm -hmm. you know, back then, you know, uh, playing sports in high school was a big thing. Very big thing. And we mm -hmm. uh, reminisce on some of the uh, games we played or where we played at, and then we talk about the other things we've done in school. And it's always, you know, very heartwarming uh, to have it mm -hmm. and talk to some of the people you don't mm -hmm. see all the time. Now, are your spouses also members of the class, or did you like you guys married out of the, my, the school? My husband is, my spouse, yeah. is a member of the class of 1967 right. okay. Okay. and my works wife. very hard with yeah. the reunion activities also. I know he does if you're president, like <laughs> his wife is president. Well, my wife doesn't, uh, uh, she's, she, uh, she went to Jason, but she didn't graduate from Jason, but she attends she's all of the reunions. Yes. Yes, yes, she attends all of the reunions because, you know, I've had, I've sold some tickets to some uh, friends of mine that didn't even go to right, Jason and wanted just to go to mm -hmm. see, to be a part of it, just to see what was going on for us, the, uh, our reunion. And it mm -hmm. sounds like a wonderful time. Now, if people haven't gotten tickets, is there a website? If they haven't, you know, if they want to hear this information again, or can they call well, at someone? Well, this, at this point, we are past the deadline for our tickets, and we're pretty much a sellout. Oh, that's always <laughs> a good thing. It is, so it is. The Jason spirit is addicting, so people I, can I jump can on tell. board. I can tell. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you both for sharing mm -hmm. with us a little bit of, of, for me, a little Delmarva history that I certainly wasn't fully aware of, being new mm -hmm. to the area and I know it's going to be a wonderful time mm -hmm. so thank you for being with us and all right enjoy enjoy yeah, we, enjoy we yeah, thanks for having, thanks all right, for having thank us you. Right. stick around we'll be right back with more good things Del Marla. <laughs>